Now in Good Morning Northwest, the newest details in the federal case against the 18-year-old accused of planning terror attacks on Portland churches. A court record show and the reaction from a potential target of the terror plot. Culver Day today, we're going to have sun, we're going to have some cloud cover, and certainly we're starting off cool. We'll talk about that warmer weather coming up. And prepping for a trial that has captured attention around the globe, a man considered a doomsday prophet facing capital murder charges for the deaths of two children and his first wife. You're watching Good Morning Northwest on 4 News Now. Thanks for being with us. I'm Robin Nance. And I'm Natalie Grant. Today is Wednesday, April 10th. Let's get over to Mark Peterson for a look at our first alert forecast here. Mark, those winds yesterday were blowing. Gust 45 miles an hour for us. We're one of the windiest uh, places into Washington yesterday. Uh, Grant County Airport also had 45 mile an hour winds. So today, the winds are calm, but it's cooling. 32, we talked about that radiational cooling, a clear sky, nothing to hold the heat in. 27 into Coeur d'Alene, so yeah, brisk. Here's a look at the four things you need to know. Uh, sun and clouds today, yeah, and more sunshine than yesterday. Light winds today, that's gonna be really nice. We begin that warming trend. The weekend is gonna be amazing. So we look at our predictive forecast radar, and it's just gonna be these variable clouds that come across. We're not gonna see uh, anything in the form of moisture today. We will start to see an increased chance of showers on Thursday, but all the way in through dinner time, it looks pretty nice and it will be dry. Currently 25 now into Deer Park, 27 in Cheney, 31 Spokane Valley, and well, 27 in Hayden. Yeah, cool start. So just make sure you're dressed appropriately. Our high today, uh, we're going to have 58 degrees for the high. That's going to happen about 4 o'clock this afternoon. Mark, thanks. An 18-year-old Coeur d'Alene man arrested for allegedly attempting to provide resources to ISIS will appear before a judge this morning. An affidavit accuses Alexander Mercurio of also planning to attack local churches in Coeur d'Alene in the name of ISIS. He's charged in a federal complaint with attempting to provide material support or resources to a designated foreign terrorist organization. Now, court documents reveal this investigation has been going on for more than a year, starting when Mercurio was 17 years old. According to the affidavit, Mercurio began taking, talking rather to a confidential source who was working with the FBI about his support for ISIS. According to the FBI, he then discussed plans to storm a church, brutally kill as many people as possible, and burn it down before terrorizing the next church. One local pastor told us the news was concerning, but rather than sharing words of despair, he chose words of hope. My response is to pray for this young man and to realize that, you know, we're supposed to love our enemies and pray for them and to seek their best good, their highest good. And so I pray, in fact, I prayed earlier today as I was thinking about this, that he would have a radical transformation, a change of heart. Now, we will be in court at 10 o'clock this morning for Mercurio's first appearance, and we'll update you with any new information as it becomes available. New from the Breaking Now desk in Boise, opening statements are scheduled to begin this morning for the man accused of murdering his first wife and his current wife's two children. Chad Daybell's trial is expected to last up to 10 weeks. He's charged with three counts of first-degree murder in the deaths of Tammy Daybell, who died in 2019, as well as seven-year-old J.J. Vallow and J.J.'s big sister, Tylee Ryan, who was last seen a few days before her 17th birthday. The children's bodies were found buried in Daybell's yard in the summer of 2020. Their mother, Lori Vallow, who married Daybell shortly after the deaths, was found guilty last year and sentenced to life in prison without parole. Friends told detectives that Vallow and Daybell believed they had been reincarnated and were tasked with gathering people for a biblical apocalypse. During Vallow's trial, a former friend said the couple claimed they could tell if people had been possessed. Friends of the couple said that they claimed that they could tell if people had been taken over by dark spirits, possessed in a way, and that if somebody was taken over by a dark spirit, sometimes the only way to free that person was to kill their body so that their soul could escape some sort of limbo and go on to heaven. Daybell's ex-wife, Tammy, reportedly died in her sleep. Now, at first, investigators thought she died of natural causes, but it was later determined she died from asphyxiation, according to an autopsy. Prosecutors say the couple used their doomsday-focused beliefs to justify the deaths of Vallow's kids and Daybell's wife, but it was all part of a larger plan to obtain money from survivor benefits, life insurance, and eliminate any obstacles to their relationship. Daybell has pleaded not guilty to all charges. If convicted, he could face the death penalty. Reporting in studio, Sydney Charles, 4 News Now.
Around the Northwest, starting July 1st, schools in Idaho will no longer be able to require staff to refer to students using their preferred names and pronouns for transgender and non-binary students. Yesterday, Governor Brad Little signed a bill into law that bans any public employees, including teachers, from using names or pronouns that don't align with that person's sex assigned at birth. The only exception being if the teacher has been given parental consent. Also, if a teacher is disciplined for refusing to use a student's preferred pronoun, the new legislation allows them to sue the school district. Around the nation, the parents of a Michigan school shooter have been sentenced to 10 to 15 years in prison. This is the first time parents have been convicted and now sentenced in a mass school shooting carried out by their child. Many legal observers say this case could encourage prosecutors to bring charges against parents when their child commits a crime. Jennifer and James Crumbly were separately found guilty of involuntary manslaughter this year for the lives their son, Ethan Crumbly, took in 2021. Now, before the sentencing, the Crumblies had to face the families of the four victims. It doesn't appear that either of you cherished or even wanted your son, but I wholeheartedly wanted and cherished mine. When you texted, Ethan, don't do it. I was texting Madison, I love you, please call mom. Tate Mears family is ready to hear the truth. It's time to drive real change from this tragedy. The Crumblies apologize to the families. The judge will make a ruling soon on whether they can have contact with their son. Ethan is serving a life sentence in prison. The Arizona Supreme Court ruled the state must uphold an abortion law that was created before Arizona even became a state. The 1864 law criminalized nearly all abortions with the only exception to save the mother's life. The law also carried a prison sentence of two to five years for abortion providers. The case in question, Arizona versus Mays, abortion rights opponents claim the state should revert to the ban, while advocates ask the court to affirm a 2022 law allowing abortions up to 15 weeks into pregnancy. Well, this May marks the 50th anniversary of Spokane's 1974 World's Fair when our industrial railway city underwent a transformation that turned it into the flagship city of the Inland Northwest. Now, jumpstarting the heart of Spokane you see today, Here's an old clip of the opening ceremony back in 1974 from the KXLY archive. At that time, everyone was very much like the host at a party. You have laid the preparations. You have laid out the welcome mat for guests. And the only thing remaining is to wonder whether anyone will come. And boy, did they. Mm -hmm. well, fast forward to today, the city is feeling the same pressure. Spokane is now in overdrive to prepare for its two-month-long celebration of the fair's 50th anniversary. That's coming up next month. Mm -hmm. It'll be so fun. Just a few weeks. Mm -hmm. Your Good Morning Northwest time right now, 6.08. Let's check in with Mark. Oh my gosh, it was windy, windy yesterday. Yeah, those winds, uh, again, we were one of the windiest places in the region wow. at 45 on our winds today. 5 to 10 miles an hour, we're... Getting our eyes set on 60s, moving in for the weekend. It's going to be a nice day today, but a little cooler. We'll have the full forecast coming up. With the 50th anniversary of Expo 74 being less than a month away, I'm sharing everything you can expect if you plan on celebrating coming up on Good Morning Northwest. And the U.S. creates the first rules to tackle forever chemicals in drinking water. Up next, what we know about this new national standards. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. For over 30 years, we've been keeping you warm. Or cool, but now we are taking you to the next level of innovation. Fireplaces, sleek modern design. Or traditional electric, efficient and trendy. Lighting, permanent decorative year-long lighting providing security as well as beauty. These are just some of the ideas we are bringing to you for the next level at Holiday Heating, Cooling and Electric. We call it Holiday Innovation. Call us today. Home. It's both a place and a feeling. At yours, you strive to make new memories, create traditions, share stories, find the fun, embrace the surprises, and celebrate moments big and small. Memories are made at home, in every room, in every moment. Make your house feel like home at the Tin Roof. Fresh Soul brings Southern-inspired recipes to life. 
The nonprofit restaurant educates students through a diverse job training program. In just 12 weeks, we teach the kids everything they need to know about food prep, how to cook, and uh, proper etiquette skills. This experience empowers youth to be successful upon completion of this program. Fresh Soul, get these kids experience for the real world. New America Credit Union is honored to donate $1,000 to Fresh Soul. This is how New America cares for kids. For 10 years, the 4 News Now Extreme Team has been rebuilding and rejuvenating baseball fields. Is yours next? It's that time again. Go to KXOI.com and tell us why your field needs a makeover. Diamonds and Dreams brought to you by your hometown Chevy dealers and Horizon Credit Union. Over the last 62 years, we've helped so many customers. Our local owners and staff enjoy helping you select the right tire for your needs and budget. That's right. And with Cooper Tire and other quality brands, we're still the price leaders with exceptional service, selection, and warranties. Get special Cooper Tire pricing right now during our perfection anniversary celebration. And since our rough winter roads can be hard on your vehicle, let our certified techs check your suspension and wheel alignment today. Nobody beats perfection. Have you worked or enjoyed the outdoors in Lincoln County before 2014? You may have been exposed to harmful Libby Amphibole asbestos. Get your free asbestos health screening today. Don't wait. Early detection is key. Contact the CARD Clinic at LibbyAsbestos.org. 4 News Now is brought to you by Pape Machinery. 6.12 is the time, and here's a look at what's new on Good Morning Northwest. Gaza Civil Defense says nearly 400 bodies have been recovered from around Al-Shifa Hospital. Israeli forces withdrew from that area last week. That total did not include people who have been burned in the grounds of the hospital. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says no force in the world will stop Israeli troops from entering Rafah, where about 1.5 million Gazans are sheltering. U.S. criticism of Israel is mounting. President Biden recently calling the country's approach to the conflict as, quote, a mistake. The Biden administration has finalized the first national standard to limit dangerous forever chemicals. The chemicals are found in almost half of the drinking water in the United States. Some environmentalists call the new rule a huge breakthrough and a historic change to protect human health. Water utilities will now have to filter out five of more than 12,000 types of individual forever chemicals. Linked to a variety of health problems, the chemicals are found in nearly 97% of all Americans. 10 second takeaway on this Wednesday morning. Gonna be sun, gonna have some clouds, so you're gonna need a light jacket, maybe a heavier one up into Deer Park where it's 27 degrees. Our high today is gonna be 58. Well, millions of people use those special glasses to watch the solar eclipse, but what are you supposed to do with them now? Why not donate them to Astronomers Without Borders? They partner with retailers like Warby Parker, and you can drop off or mail your used glasses. You can send them to Eclipse Glasses USA, which repurposes them for future celestial events. Very cool way to recycle, reuse, you know, the whole thing. I love it. Mm -hmm. Or keep them in your drawer for the next time. I've done that as yes. well. <laughs> Either way, we got some extras. Your Good Morning Northwest time is 6.13. Things are looking up as we set our sights on the upcoming weekend. Mark's forecast is just ahead. And Expo 74 changed the trajectory of Spokane. The city is planning a mega 50th anniversary celebration. Up next, Allison Martinez is live in Riverfront Park, which is going to be the heart of the party, with what you can look forward to next. Man. I can take real good care of you. See? Works perfectly for you, right? At Craig Swap and Associates, we don't get paid until you win. One call, that's all. 509-999-9999. Hi, I'm Bruce Shaver. These are my two sons, Gary and John, and we built this deck. We won't settle for anything less than contractor grade. So we get all of our building materials and supplies from PAR. PAR. Family owned since 1930. Go where the builders go. What are you going to build? Support low-income, at-risk youth by investing in their future. Join me, Molly Allen, along with Ken Witter and special guest speaker Levi Horn for the annual Northeast Youth Center's Building Brighter Futures fundraiser. All children deserve a safe place to be a kid. At the Northeast Youth Center, the staff provides a positive, secure, engaging environment for kids to thrive. Join us to learn more about the Northeast Youth Center. Introducing the Chevy family of SUVs. Do more with tech. Do more with safety. Do more with style. The Chevy family of SUVs. There's one for everything you do.
Get 1.9% financing on select popular Chevy SUVs when you finance with GM Financial. See your hometown Chevy dealer today. Welcome to Move Fitness. Let's go. Spring tradition returns April 12th, 13th, and 14th. Bigger than ever with over 400 vehicles. Four celebrities all indoors at the fairground. SpokaneSpeedAndCustomShow.com and Facebook for more information. My name is Megan, and I've been a member of Canopy Credit Union since I was four. With Canopy, they, they have a whole team who's there to help guide you if you have questions. That's huge. It's so nice to know that you can get an answer to your questions. I have never had an issue that wasn't able to be resolved in a super friendly, helpful manner. It's so wonderful. I honestly don't think I'd ever leave. Four News Now is brought to you by Consigned Furniture. Live stream KXLY Plus on the Four News Now app. It's 617. It's almost time to celebrate the 50th anniversary of Expo 74. The event transformed Spokane from a rail yard into a lively river walk. The opening ceremonies for the 50th anniversary of the World's Fair are just a few weeks away now. And our Allison Martinez is live in downtown Spokane at Riverfront Park to share how the city is geared up for the big event. Good morning, Allison. Natalie, Robin, good morning. I'm here in Riverfront Park, which is what we now know it as. But before 1974, this was a rundown industrial area with railroad tracks running through. Now this was completely transformed to host the World's Fair and small traces of the expo still remain today, like the lilac butterfly that you see right there behind me. Multiple butterflies were created for Expo 74 to use as colorful waymarks. A strong windstorm brought down the last butterfly in 2021. Last year, the city was able to redesign and re-engineer the butterfly to make it withstand much stronger winds. That butterfly will be flying high during the spring's 50th anniversary celebrations. Now city leadership is working to reignite the nostalgia of Expo 74. Former Hoop Fest organizer Matt Santangelo is leading the pack to fill every day with an element of Expo. There will be events to celebrate our local tribes, sports, the arts, history and sustainability. Santangelo says he hopes everyone walks away from these celebrations with a feeling of gratitude. The fact that we can come out and play again, uh, you know, after after the pandemic, the fact that we have so many great things to celebrate in our community um, and take a moment in time to reflect on, you know, 50 years ago, where we're at today and maybe start the conversation of where we want to be tomorrow. When celebrating the anniversary of Expo 74, attendees can expect a beer garden, food trucks, lots of performances, and much, much more. Celebrations for the 50th anniversary officially begin on May 4th and will last for nine weeks. Coming up in 30 minutes, I'll let you know how one local sports team is getting in on all of the fun. Reporting live in Spokane, Allison Martinez, 4 News Now. And there sure is a lot of fun to be oh had. Oh my goodness. And there is our beautiful downtown. Looking at the pictures from prior to Expo 74, mm -hmm. it is mind blowing. Oh yeah. That people had the vision, that these great you know, community leaders had this vision and sold it. If you go to the flour mill inside that, that main hallway, yeah. you'll see those pictures transforming it over it's, a it's couple so of years. Yeah. It's amazing. Uh, imagine what it would be like if we hadn't had that happen. Oh, by the way, food trucks, uh, could we go back to the food prices of 74? I'm uh, just asking, just asking. All right, 36 downtown, 25 at a Deer Park. 
30 into Spangle. Actually, I want to know what the prices were in 1974 with some of the food at the Expo. Um, we look at our forecast for the day. We're going to continue to see things looking pretty good. Right now, again, we're freezing officially at the airport, 32 degrees. We're going to see a high today of 58. Going to be sun and clouds, more sunshine than yesterday. And yesterday was a pretty nice day, but windy. Well, today, the wind is gone. So it's going to be very nice. Winds are going to be light tonight. Temperatures down to 38, so it's going to be warmer. And this begins this warming trend that we're going to be seeing. We look at our satellite and radar. Well, the radar is not picking up much because there's not much to be had, but we do have some cloud cover that continues to move through our region, and that's going to be our day today. If you really need to find moisture, go over to the Missoula area. They still are picking up a few scattered showers. So we look at the forecast radar. Now, there is the potential for energy coming in, but Thursday morning looking pretty good. We're going to have some clouds. And then Thursday evening into Friday, we see that chance of showers kick up through early Friday morning. There will be plenty of energy south going through the Palouse and making its way over the Idaho-Montana border. Lookout Pass could pick up some, and we could see a few scattered showers coming out before we have that high pressure build in for the weekend. Again, today, upper 50, 60 into Ritzville. Pullman, you'll be at 57 degrees. Uh, 58 up into Bonner's Ferry. Going to be a gorgeous day. 61 and Thursday, uh, on Thursday with cloud cover. We'll see that chance of showers Thursday into Friday. 64 and then sunshine for the weekend. Temperatures in the upper 60s. Uh, get your pickleball paddles out or your Ooh. tennis rackets or your bicycles. Ooh. You don't Whatever have to it might be. Tell me twice. Okay. Deal. Sounds like a good weekend. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Mark. Your Good Morning Northwest time, 6-22. Oh, the college basketball season just ended, but there is already a lot for fans to look forward to next year. The Cougs may look very different by next season. The Zags already have some very high expectations set, and one athletic director's phone hasn't stopped ringing. We'll explain after the break next in Morning Sports. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. Don't settle for the screen. See it in your space. At Floor Trader, you'll find more samples and more selection in one place. This weekend at Floor Trader, all of Cortex waterproof, kid proof, and pet proof flooring comes with free basic install. I'm worried about the draft. We got some bad zone control, and I'm concerned we're not bringing the heat. Look at this, crossover's off. We've got a weak dribble. We need a solid block, just not enough pressure. What do you think? I think I'm doing just fine. What? Bill's Heating and AC is offering financing as low as 0% for five years. Call today. For all your heating and cooling needs, leave it to the real professionals at Bill's. Due to some frozen pipes, we're currently making some changes to the showroom. We know that shopping in a construction zone is no fun. And to thank you for sticking with us, we're throwing a construction sale. Pardon our dust while you shop our amazing selection of Lazy Boy recliners and living room sets, all at guaranteed lowest prices. Looking for a new dining set? We have three, five, and seven piece sets that are all on sale. Like most construction jobs, we don't know how long this sale will last. So come in now during Kerner Furniture's construction sale. Nice store, low prices. At Just Between Friends, you'll find everything you need for your family. It's all here. I've been shopping in JBF since my kids were little, and we just love it. It's the one-stop shop for everything that you need for your kids and your grandkids. I'm a first-time mom. I got a lot of clothing, shoes. I got a changing table. It's been a lot of fun. Such a blessing to be able to shop, sell, and save at JBF. This has been a game-changer for our family. Just Between Friends at the Kootenai County Fairgrounds this weekend. Welcome to Moo Fitness. Let's go. I really got the feeling today that everything is going my way. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Sign up now with no enrollment fee. Moo Fitness. Don't settle for the screen. See it in your space. At Floor Trader, you'll find more samples and more selection in one place. This weekend at Floor Trader, all of Cortex waterproof, kid proof, and pet proof flooring comes with free basic install. Welcome into Morning Sports. I'm Julian Minenso. The college basketball season is over, 
and the focus has already shifted to next season. For WSU, their expectations are high with their new head coach, David Riley. The Cougs are coming off a season in which they went to the NCAA tournament for the first time in 16 years. Now for Gonzaga, the expectations are always there, but maybe even more so next year. ESPN has Gonzaga as the number two ranked team in the country in the way too early top 25 rankings. Every player on the roster is set to return with the exception of Anton Watson. The Bulldogs have also added Pepperdine transfer Michael Ajayi, who declared for the NBA draft, but will most likely return. According to Las Vegas, Gonzaga has the 18th best odds to win the national championship. As we take a look at this season's final AP ranking, Gonzaga finished at number 15, Washington State at 23. Now the Cougars will need to figure out their roster before any preseason top 25 talk. WCU has had 10 players enter the transfer portal this offseason, including Spokane native Dylan Darling, who announced his commitment to Idaho State. Eastern Washington Athletic Director Tim Collins might need to change his number. His phone has been blowing up nonstop from candidates calling about the open head coaching job with the basketball team. Collins says he's had 243 calls, 730 text messages, and two dead phone batteries in the search for the next basketball coach. Who says players are the only ones who have stats? Now, the posting for the job has already closed, and they've already gathered a short list of candidates with an update coming soon. And the Seattle Mariners dropped their third straight game with the 5-3 loss to the Toronto Blue Jays. George Kirby only lasted four innings, allowing five runs in the loss. Now the Mariners will look to avoid the sweep today. First pitch is just after noon from Toronto. And that'll wrap us up for Morning Sports. It's a lot of phone calls for that open position. Wow, no kidding. <laughs> it is now 627. Well, earlier this week, we brought you the news of Spokane's new fire chief. And this morning, we're hearing from Chief Oberg about what she wants to accomplish in her new role. Plus, new concerns coming to light about more Boeing planes prompting an investigation. After the break, Sydney Charles has why a whistleblower has now come forward. As we send you off to a commercial break, here's your first look at what's coming up on GMA at 7. In this morning's GMA First Look, an ABC News exclusive. Do you think it's a miracle that they're both still here today? A group of sorority sisters making a dramatic rescue. After witnessing a car go off a bridge and sink rapidly into a creek, their quick action saving a mother and her two young children. And this morning, they're speaking out to Good Morning America and GMA3. There's still one other kid in the car. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. yeah, just like time is ticking. It had been like four to five minutes. His lips were completely blue. Like, his eyes were closed. He was not breathing. I did not think he was alive. We thought we were about to watch someone die. And we'll also hear from the grateful mom about those harrowing minutes. I was scared I was going to lose the little one. I don't know if life would be so much different without them. The ABC News exclusive on this miracle in Georgia coming up on Good Morning America and GMA3. With your first look, I'm Eva Pilgrim, ABC News, New York. If you have wet AMD, you never want to lose sight of the things you love. We get it on Some things should stand the test of time. When that Long-lasting Ilea HD could significantly improve your vision and can help you go up to four months between treatments. If you have an eye infection, eye pain or redness, or allergies to Ilea HD, don't use. Eye injections like Ilea HD may cause eye infection, separation of the retina, or rare but severe swelling of blood vessels in the eye. An increase in eye pressure has been seen. There is an uncommon risk of heart attack or stroke associated with blood clots. The most common side effects were blurred vision, cataract, corneal injury, and eye floaters. And there's still so much to see. If you are on Ilea or a similar type of treatment, ask your retina specialist about Ilea HD today for the potential for fewer injections. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. Save your green! So you want somewhere to play? We got you. A nice, relaxing stay? We got you. Want to be entertained? We got you. Want to play golf all day? We got you. Some tasty food, we got you. Heard you want to do some shopping, we got you. The live music is always popping at the Quarter Lake Casino. At the Quarter Lake Casino. Quarter Lake Casino. The winning is just the beginning. Oh. For over
over 30 years, we've been keeping you warm. Or cool, but now we are taking you to the next level of innovation. Fireplaces, sleek modern design, or traditional electric, efficient and trendy. Lighting, permanent decorative year-long lighting providing security as well as beauty. These are just some of the ideas we are bringing to you for the next level at Holiday Heating, Cooling and Electric. We call it Holiday Innovation. Call us today. UFCW 2000 is building a union that fights to make sure that essential workers get better wages, respect on the job, and a safe workplace. Our union believes it's time for the employers to do the right thing and provide the kind of wages, benefits, and schedules that improve both employee services and company commitment. It's a win-win. The company has skilled workers long-term and it strengthens families and the community they live, shop, and work in. And isn't that what every American worker deserves? From 4 News Now, this is Good Morning Northwest. We are kicking off this half hour with the 4 News Now Story Tracker. It's telling the stories people are reading about this morning. A hearing is scheduled today in the University of Idaho murders case against Brian Koberger. During the last hearing, Judge John Judge reopened, or responded rather, to a defense survey in which potential jurors were asked questions about the case, some of which were misleading or non-factual. The judge says he wants a hearing at least every month, noting the importance of, quote, cleaning up the legal proceedings. That hearing is scheduled for 4 o'clock today. SpaceX launched a Falcon 9 rocket from Cape Canaveral this morning. It's carrying 23 satellites for the Starlink internet system. SpaceX confirms those satellites have successfully launched into orbit while the rocket's first stage landed safely on the Just Read the Instructions drone ship. So what like a name I would make up or something. Yeah. <laughs> Just read the instructions. They'll figure it out. <laughs> Thanks so much for starting your day with us. I'm Natalie Grant. And I'm Robin Nance. It's Wednesday, April 10th. Let's check in with Mark on our first alert forecast. Looking pretty good. A little chilly for some folks this morning. It is. Temperatures uh, into the upper 20s. We'll show you those in just a minute. Right now, let's take a look at the four things you need to know. Sun and clouds today. More sunshine. Sunglasses at the ready. Light winds today. Uh, nothing compared to what we had yesterday for winds. A warming trend. Going to be a gorgeous weekend. No doubt with temperatures in the upper 60s. So we take a live look, you see some of the high thin clouds that we will have, and that's going to be our day today. Officially, we're sitting at 32 degrees with those winds south to five miles an hour. Not bad. Now, forecast radar, just high thin clouds coming across. That's going to be our day today. We're not going to see any major changes. We'll see heavier uh, cloud cover into the mountains, but that's going to be about it. We will start to see the inclusion of some rain thoughts. Thursday night into Friday. 31 into the valley, 25 at Deer Park, 26 into Cheney, and then you head into Idaho, you've got 27 into Hayden. So again, dress appropriately. Temperatures hovering around freezing into the valley, sitting at 31 degrees. All right, our high today. We're going to have the sun, we're going to have the clouds, and an above average temperature of 56 is a normal high. Well, we're going to hit 58. And new details from the Breaking Now desk. The FAA is investigating new safety allegations involving Boeing Dreamliners. This morning, we're learning about a new whistleblower who says some of those Dreamliners could have manufacturing flaws. Boeing engineer Sam Salapour alleges engineering issues with the company's 787 Dreamliners could cause the planes to break apart after decades of use. Salapour claims parts of the fuselage are fastened together improperly. His allegations come after the FAA announced a probe into some of the company's wide body planes just yesterday. I'm doing this not because I want Boeing to fail, but because I want I want it to succeed and prevent the uh, crashes from happening. This morning, Boeing responding to his claims, saying in part, quote, these claims about the structural integrity of the 787 are inaccurate the issues have raised raised have been subject to rigorous engineering examination under FAA oversight. Now in 2021 and 2022, Boeing slowed production and stopped delivering 787s because of these concerns. It later said it addressed the issue and the FAA signed off, resuming deliveries in 2022. But Salapur's lawyer claims those fixes aren't enough. Boeing is already working on improving its quality control after a door plug blew off a Max 9 jet in January. The company's CEO already announcing he'll step down. A hearing is scheduled next week on Capitol Hill, where Salapur is expected to testify. Reporting in studio, Sydney Charles, 4 News Now.
Sydney, thanks. Spokane police are looking for a man accused of intentionally driving a van into a police car and then taking off. On Saturday, police responded to a call about someone trespassing in northeast Spokane. When they got there, they found a white van parked in an alleyway. Police say one person got out of that van. Then this man, 27-year-old Ryan Todd, hopped into the driver's seat, revved the engine, and rammed into the police car. More officers showed up, tried to stop him, but he refused to pull over, ended up driving into oncoming traffic. The van was later found in the Mead area. Police are looking for Todd. If you have any information about him or know where he might be, call the number there on your screen, 509-242-8477, or sends an email to the SPD tip line, which is spokanepolice.org. The city of Spokane officially announced Julie Oberg as its new fire chief. She's been with the fire department since 2020 and has acted as interim chief since January. Her appointment makes her the first woman to ever hold the position. But she says she wants to be known for more than just that. She's worn multiple hats during her career, previously working in Overland Park, Kansas as a firefighter, paramedic, captain and battalion chief. Now she's looking forward to leading the Spokane Fire Department as the city tries to tackle some of its toughest issues like behavioral health and drug addiction needs in the community. In February, the fire department responded to 68 overdoses. Last month, they responded to 80. She says the fire department is currently looking for new ways to connect people to addiction services. The opioid use disorder um, issues that we have in Spokane. So those are going to be those are going to be some hard challenges. And I'm not saying that we are going to solve them, but our team is definitely committed that uh, we're going to be at the table to to try to bring some solutions that work for our community. Chief Oberg says she'd like to see an expansion of the fire department's behavioral health services. Right now, that unit only runs four days a week. Kootenai County has grown exponentially over the last 20 years, and some of the county operations and services are struggling to keep up. According to the county's new database, both the county's 911 call center and Kootenai County Sheriff's Office are currently understaffed. The jail is also over the legal physical limits, and prosecutors are taking on more cases than they are equipped to handle. But there is some positive news. The juvenile detention center is only about half full, and the solid waste rate of accumulation is still good even following construction and population growth. Good morning, Northwest time is 637. Let's check back in with Mark Peterson here for a look at our forecast, what we can expect today. Rain? Uh, we are gonna see, we're tracking some showers coming in maybe Thursday night into early Friday morning. Okay. Otherwise, we're still looking for a gorgeous weekend. We'll have a full check of that forecast coming up. And still to come on Good Morning Northwest, a new study shows that Gen Z is not as happy as other generations. What factors could have an influence? Plus, you only have five more days to get your taxes done. And some people are turning to TikTok for advice. Why the IRS says that might not be the best idea. Coming up next on Good Morning Northwest. Connect with 4 News Now on KXLY+. Plus. When it comes to quality roofing solutions, trust the experts at Roofs by Premier. Roofs by Premier has more than 50 years of experience in the Inland Northwest. Schedule now for spring and receive $500 off. Going on right now for a limited time, get 1.9% financing for 72 months on select F-150s. Wendell Ford at the Y on North Division. Drive for generations. Fairway Floor Abbey Carpet in Post Falls has been North Idaho's premier flooring shop for over 30 years. From remodels to new construction, they've got your home or business covered from wall to wall. Their expert design team will work with you to find the perfect floor for your lifestyle and budget. They've got the lowest prices. From carpet and area rugs to hardwood, LVP and laminate, if you can dream it, they can floor it. Dream it. Design it. Live it. At Fairway Floor Abbey Carpet in Post Falls. Coeur d'Alene Denture Clinic is locally owned and operated and has been providing personalized, comfortable, and satisfying care to our clients for over 30 years. Our licensed denturists are trained in the latest techniques in the construction, development, and preparatory work of a denture. Full dentures, implant attachments, repairs, fittings, adjustments, we do it all. 
Every denture is made to look as close as possible to your natural teeth. With our knowledge and friendly staff, competitive costs and quality of service, you'll leave Coeur d'Alene Denture Clinic smiling. The average family throws out $1,500 of food every year. That's a lot. Imagine what you could do with extra cash. There are simple ways to reduce your food waste and increase your savings. It starts with a plan and ends with a little creativity. Like turning your unused food into something new. Get tips to reduce food waste and make your dollar go further. Know the cost. Use food well. Visit the website to learn how. When it comes to quality roofing solutions, trust the experts at Roofs by Premier. Roofs by Premier has more than 50 years of experience in the Inland Northwest. Schedule now for spring and receive $500 off. Welcome back. It's now 641. With tax season entering the home stretch, many are turning to TikTok for last minute advice. From budgeting to student loan payments, the hashtag FinTalk has exploded on TikTok. But the IRS said this week bad information on social media, including schemes like misusing W-2 forms to scam a bigger refund, can lead a taxpayer to big trouble. Nick Wolney, managing editor at CNET, says users should always do their own research. The fact check that you always want to put into place, make sure that you know the basics and that you're not just following someone's potential get rich quick messaging that may or may not even be true. The individual filer is ultimately accountable for their tax return, citing advice you learned on TikTok will not save you from an audit. All right, good Wednesday morning, 10 second takeaway. Sun and clouds, not gonna be a bad day today. Grab a light jacket, although if you're in Deer Park, maybe a little medium weight jacket, it's chilly up there. Uh, 58 will be our high today. In news for your health this morning, a new survey reveals that Generation Z is less happy than the rest of us. People from ages 12 to 26 say they're having a harder time than previous generations did at their age. Of 2,000 Gen Z Americans surveyed, 75% reported being at least somewhat happy. However, that number went down significantly as the kids and the teens reached adulthood. Researchers said two factors were correlated with happiness for Gen Z. They were the amount of sleep they got on weekends and a sense of purpose. Okay, be happy. Be, it'd be nice. <laughs> Try is now 642. We are counting down the days until the 50th anniversary celebration of Expo 74. Allison Martinez is live at Riverfront Park this morning with what you can expect. There will be food, sports, performances, and so much more. I'm breaking down everything you can expect coming up on Good Morning Northwest. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. We're the easiest way to shop for floors. And going on now is our Carpet One Teal Tag Sale, where you can save up to $1,000 on new floors. Special financing is available. Two locations, Flooring Outlet and Sandpoint Furniture Carpet One. The Honda you want is here, so drive in the moment with the versatile CRV or Accord. Both named a Car and Driver 10 Best. And when you drive a Honda, you're driving with the 2023 Kelly Blue Books KBB.com Best Value Brand. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or hurry into your local Honda dealer today. Being a Reardon bus driver is incredibly rewarding. It's hard work with a lot of responsibility. But it's also amazing to be the first and last Reardon staff member that many students see every day. If you're seeking a supportive team, competitive wages, and the opportunity to make a lasting impact, look no further than Reardon, where every student is known, loved, and learning. Dear 2031, we look forward to seeing you. After our 160-point quality assurance inspection, we'll be Toyota certified used vehicles with seven-year, 100,000-mile limited powertrain warranties. Not to honk our own horns, but the best new cars make the best used cars. Yours, Toyota. Get 5.49% APR for up to 60 months on many of your favorite Toyota certified used models. Find yours at toyotacertified.com. Toyota, let's go places. Hi, I'm Martita, award-winning interior designer and realtor. 
and I always stop by Consigned Furniture and Jewelry first. For my interior design projects, there is inspiration everywhere. One of a kind, budget friendly pieces, all in 60,000 square feet. For my real estate clients, whether they want to buy or sell, I always encourage them to consign. They do all the heavy lifting while you sit back, relax, and collect your check. Consign furniture and jewelry. Smart way to buy, easy way to sell. We're the easiest way to shop for floors. And going on now is our Carpet One Teal Tag Sale, where you can save up to $1,000 on new floors. Special financing is available. Two locations, Flooring Outlet and Sandpoint Furniture Carpet One. 4 News Now is brought to you by Aligned Family Chiropractic. I can't think of a better place to be welcomed back home than right here in Spokane on a sunny day at this most important exposition. Well, it is almost time to celebrate the event that gave Spokane international fame. In 1974, Spokane became the smallest city to host the World's Fair. The opening ceremonies for the 50th anniversary are just a few weeks away. Thousands and thousands of people will flock to the city to celebrate the milestone in Spokane's history. 4 News Now's Allison Martinez live in downtown Spokane along the river sharing how we're all gearing up for this big celebration. Robin, Natalie, good morning. I'm here in what we now know as Riverfront Park, but before 1974, this was a rundown industrial area with railroad tracks running through. Now that was all changed and completely transformed in order to host the World's Fair. And some traces of the expo still remain today, like the pedestrian bridge that you may see there all the way across the river behind me. Now some of Spokane's most famous landmarks were created for XO 74 construction projects. The South Pedestrian Bridge was built then as a way to help connect people to the river. 50 years later, the bridge is newly renovated with new railings and lighting. The project was finished just in time for the spring's expo celebrations. Now, city leadership is working to reignite the nostalgia of Expo 74. There will be events to celebrate our local tribes, the arts, history, sustainability, and sports. One local team even decided to step up to the plate and join the celebrations. We took the iconic Expo logo and the font and the colors and we decided to put them all together into a new type of a uniform. Uh, our players will wear them four times throughout the summer and it all starts on May 4th uh, with the first game. The Spokane Indians introduced that brand new jersey to pay homage to not only the Expo, but their winning baseball team from 1974 as well. In addition to the athletes wearing those jerseys, they'll also be available to the public. Now, opening ceremonies for the 50th anniversary of Expo 74 officially begin on May 4th and will last for nine weeks. For more information on all things Expo, you can go to our website, kxly.com. Reporting live in Spokane, Allison Martinez for News Now. Nine weeks of fun. Mm -hmm. And this is pretty much the crown jewel of Spokane downtown. The the park, the pavilion wouldn't exist if it wasn't for Expo 74. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah, the so clock many. tower and on and on and on and on. The butterflies. All of, of what they did in that year leading up to it is, is really amazing. I mean, they did a lot. Uh, this morning, a little bit of shivering going on into Deer Park 25, 26 into Cheney, but we do have temperatures that are hovering around 30 degrees all the way into Post Falls. Hayden, you're at 27 degrees, so uh, dress appropriately, all right? Still chilly. We're still trying to make that transition um, to warmer mornings. And we'll see that this weekend. For today, 58 degrees will be the high. We'll see sun and clouds tonight. Uh, clouds mild, 38 degrees. Clouds are going to sort of hold in some of that heat. We have variable clouds moving across our area. No rain, no snow to report. But that doesn't mean we won't see some in the future. So we look at today, 5 o'clock. Again, variable clouds could be sunny. And then we see more cloud cover coming in tomorrow morning. We're going to see, again, that sun and clouds. But Thursday night into Friday morning, we're going to see that chance of showers. And then for Thursday night, 
we'll see the continuation of more rain that's really going to be into Idaho, the Palouse, and then moving into parts of Montana. 58 our high today, 60 Ritzville, 62 at Moses Lake. If you head into the tri city 66 degrees. Uh, uh, Lewiston's going to be at 65. We won't get there till Friday. I mean, it's 61 for tomorrow, 64 on Friday with cloud cover, and again, that potential for showers. But Saturday and Sunday, temperatures nearing 70 degrees, and we are going to have uh, near 60 on on Monday as we will also have winds. We thank you for joining us watching Good Morning Northwest. Your morning sprint is coming up. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. 4 News Now is brought to you by PAR, your total home building source. Catch all the action at Caesar Sportsbook, located inside Spokane Tribe Resort and Casino, the area's largest sportsbook. Bet your favorite games live as they happen with in-play betting or place bets ahead of time with the Bet Ahead feature. Only at Spokane Tribe Resort and Casino. You just win here. Hello, I'm Mark Peterson. It's that time of year again when Washington Trust Bank helps you dispose of your sensitive documents and protect your identity with four easy steps. First, drive to one of their six participating drive through locations. Second, fill your seal and shred bag with the documents that you want to destroy. Third, secure the seal and shred bag. Then drop off your bag at DeVries where they will destroy your documents in their secure space. Shred day is Friday, April 19th. Pick up your shred and seal bag at one of their six locations while supplies last. On right now for a limited time, get 1.9% financing for 72 months on select F-150s. Wendell Ford at the Y on North Division. Drive for generations. Wow. Honeymoon phase over already, huh? You know, these things normally take a while to figure out, and these kind of... Let's just settle this whole ordeal right now. We get you compensated fairly and only get paid after you win. With Crux Swap and Associates, it's always one call, that's all. 509-999-9999. More call? For Valerie, I accept her the way she comes. She loves affirmations, but she also knows how to pull somebody out of a funk when you need it. I absolutely accept her for who she is. We're both in recovery. Just having that person to be able to walk alongside you, going through what you're going through. We all have value, and learning to accept is healing. One word can change a story. For us, recovery starts with acceptance. Catch all the action at Caesar Sportsbook, located inside Spokane Tribe Resort and Casino, the area's largest sportsbook. Bet your favorite games live as they happen with in-play betting or place bets ahead of time with the Bet Ahead feature. Only at Spokane Tribe Resort and Casino. You just win here. See breaking news in your area or have a story idea? Contact 4 News Now. This Good Morning Northwest Morning Sprint is brought to you by Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning. Time right now, 6.53. Time to get you ready to take on your Wednesday in the Morning Sprint. Allison Martinez live in downtown Spokane sharing how the city is preparing to celebrate the 50th anniversary of Expo 74. Mark has your forecast on a sunny, less windy day ahead. A man considered a doomsday prophet facing capital murder charges for the deaths of two children and his first wife. Sidney Charles has the details. But first, an 18-year-old Coeur d'Alene man arrested for allegedly attempting to provide resources to ISIS will appear in front of a judge this morning. An affidavit accuses Alexander Mercurio of also planning to attack local churches in Coeur d'Alene in the name of ISIS. He's charged with attempting to provide material support or resources to a designated foreign terrorist organization. Court documents reveal this investigation has been going on for more than a year, starting when Mercurio was 17 years old. According to the affidavit, Mercurio began talking to a confidential source who was working with the FBI about his support for ISIS. We will be in the court today at 10 o'clock for Mercurio's first appearance. The judge has called a hearing today in the University of Idaho murders case against Brian Koberger. During the last hearing, Judge John Judge responded to a defense survey in which potential jurors were asked questions about the case, some of which were misleading or non-factual. The judge says he wants a hearing at least every month, noting the importance of cleaning up the legal proceedings. That hearing scheduled for four this afternoon. 
Opening statements are scheduled to begin this morning in Boise for the man accused of murdering his first wife and his current wife's two children. Chad Daybell is charged with three counts of first-degree murder and the deaths of Tammy Daybell, as well as seven-year-old J.J. Vallow and J.J.'s big sister, Tylee Ryan. The children's bodies were found buried in Daybell's yard in the summer of 2020. Their mother, Lori Vallow, was found guilty last year, sentenced to life in prison without parole. If Daybell is convicted, he could face the death penalty. As we look at the forecast radar for our day ahead, um, oh, it's not looking too bad. We're going to see some variable clouds. We're not expecting to see any rain uh, today, tonight, or tomorrow during the day. But we will see, again, clouds on the move. Our high today is going to be near 60, 60 into Ritzville, 57 into St. Mary's, also into Pullman. Our high today is going to be 58 degrees. And again, grab those uh, shades. You'll need them. Looking police are looking for a man accused of intentionally driving a van into a police car and then taking off. On Saturday, police responded to a call about someone trespassing in northeast Spokane. When they got there, they found a white van parked in an alleyway. Police say one person got out of the van. Then this man, 27-year-old Ryan Todd, hopped into the driver's seat and rammed into the police car. Police say he refused to pull over and drove into oncoming traffic. The land was later found in the Mead area. If you have any information about Todd, you're asked to call the number on your screen or send an email to SPD tip line at spokanepolice.org. Kootenai County has grown exponentially over the last 20 years, and some of the county operations and services are struggling to keep up. According to the county's new database, both the county's 911 call center and Kootenai County Sheriff's Office are currently understaffed. The jail is also over the legal physical limits, and prosecutors are taking on more cases than they're equipped for. But there is some positive news. The juvenile detention center is only about half full, and the solid waste rate of accumulation is still considered good. Starting July 1st, schools in Idaho will no longer be able to require staff to refer to students using their preferred names and pronouns for transgender and non-binary students. Yesterday, Governor Brad Little signed a bill into law that bans any public employees from using names or pronouns that don't align with their sex assigned at birth. The only exception being if the teacher has been given parental consent. Today I'm live in Riverfront Park, which will be filled with people in just a few weeks. We're less than a month away than the beginning of the 50th anniversary of Expo 74. May 4th marks opening ceremonies and those events will last for nine weeks. You can expect events related to sports, history, the arts, Expo Legacy, and so much more. For more information on all things Expo, go to our website, kxly.com. The Spokane officially announced Julie Oberg as its new fire chief. She's been with the fire department since 2020 and has acted as interim chief since January. Her appointment makes her the first woman to ever hold that position, but she says she wants to be known for more than just that. She's worn a number of hats during her career, previously working in Overland Park, Kansas as a firefighter, paramedic, captain, and battalion chief. Watch our full interview with her on KXLY.com. And coming up next on Good Morning America, the latest on an abortion ban in Arizona that was created before Arizona even became a state. What it means for voters in November. We'll have a check of weather next. At 4 News Now, we believe you should expect more from local news. Our team is committed to a community conversation and bringing you information you need when and where you need it. Numerica believes in and supports that mission. Does anybody want my tomato? I don't know how anybody can eat those things. You do know ketchup is made from tomatoes, right? I'm a little over my head here. We can certainly take care of that for you. When you're looking for a company that's noteworthy, look no further. Call your friends at Mainstream Electric Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing and spend your time doing more important things. A spring tradition returns April 12th, 13th, and 14th. Bigger than ever with over 400 vehicles. Four celebrities all indoors at the fairground. SpokaneSpeedAndCustomShow.com and Facebook for more information. 
Taking a live look outside, uh, picturesque. We love where we live, and of course, uh, into Coeur d'Alene, gorgeous as well. But everybody's on the cool side. We're sitting at 32 degrees. It is 27 into Coeur d'Alene. We're going to warm up to 58. We're going to have variable clouds. We are going to see that sun come out. Um, tomorrow, a touch warmer, 61, and then 64 for Friday with temperatures nearing 70 degrees for Saturday and Sunday looking absolutely gorgeous. We cool down and we transition with gusty winds. That's going to be for the beginning of next week. So get your tea times. Get ready for some fun this weekend. Thanks so much for starting with your morning here, right here on Good Morning Northwest. We will see you throughout the morning on Good Morning America with live local updates. GMA starts now.